Hi, everybody. All right. Good to see everyone today. I right right now. I think everybody is online. Uh, hi, Mrs. Billy Barua. Hello, ma. How are you doing, Madam Fumi Olufunsho? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah. Good to see everybody. Please, uh, can we please share this uh, broadcast so people can be aware that we're online? Loa Shun, Loa B. Yeah, good to see you. Yati Ron, Mok Teniola, Grace Davids, Inca 24, Madam Sylvia, Busola Ojo, Dr. Ajayi is also watching from in, on, on Instagram. Um, wow, my sister, how are you? <laughs> if you're my Dennis, how are you doing? um is it just me or there's no sound please confirm please can i can i can i get a confirmation that the sound uh for people on youtube and on facebook i'm sure people on instagram cannot have issues with the sound abigail ajiri how are you my hi bola lusonya good to see you um hello hello everybody are you doing there is some thank you mrs billy barua thank you all right so guys i'll also show you Ms. dr Ajayi, thank you for letting me know there is sound right right awesome awesome um um if you miss <laughs> you are the boss <laughs> how are you sir you are the boss <laughs> i see <laughs> oh wow Okay, good to know everybody can hear me. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, for badminton, that is close beside me here. All right. It's good to know everybody can, you know, everybody's connected. I can can hear. Uh, one more video adjustment for the people watching. It seems like my head is kind of all right. So I think it sound okay. All right. Um Today is going to be kind of um, um, a, a little bit, a little bit uh, technical, uh, well, not too technical. We're just going to go over a few things, and then I'm going to address uh, some uh, myths. Uh, what that's what I can call them actually, because in most cases they are unfounded, and then all of these things make people to get scared about uh, embarking on the journey of weight management, as it were. Uh, but as usual, before I go ahead to talk about that, the first thing that we really love to do is to uh, give an update. Somebody saying there is no sound again. Are you sure it's not coming from your head? Uh, somebody on Instagram is saying there is no sound. Maybe you just need to do a little bit of adjustment from your hand and then um, it's going to clear out. Right. Okay. So um, I'm, I'm going to be do a bit of update on uh, what's going on with COVID-19, and then uh, I'll move straight into the topic that we have for today. After that, I will take a few questions and uh, uh, you know round it up for today. Uh, again, it's going to be short. It's going to be a long one, like 50 minutes to we have 50 minutes to 60, 55 minutes there about left uh, for the program for today. Okay, so. Um, um, right now, it does look like everybody is getting prepared and getting set to go back to work. Um, in various countries of the world, we are we are almost uh, you know going through easing uh, uh, all the things about uh, <laughs> All right, we are we are going through all the stuff that we talked about for the lockdown. So we are going to ease things down again. Uh, what sciences and the predictions have shown is that there, there is likely going to be more infections during this, uh, as we ease the lockdown, people go back to their normal activities than you know they had at the first wave. So this is what is called the second wave of infection. And then uh, epidemiologists would always say that it's going to be more, but I believe that with proper education, people knowing what to do, uh, that can actually be well managed. So it's that management that I would just say a few things like I've been saying before, please, you could go back to our YouTube channel. If you do not subscribe yet, you can just click the subscribe button. It's free of charge. Nobody's 
charging you for subscribing to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. And then you'll see a whole lot of videos that have been done on COVID-19. We are giving a lot of instructions, guidance, and suggestions to individuals, to families, people who have kids. Uh, I've also suggested what organizations can do in the, I mean, why this pandemic is going on. My advice and suggestion is that you go through all of those things, take all the precautions, ensure that your immune health is in trouble, which is very important. I gave all the keys on how to put your immune health in trouble. And should you uh, contract the virus, it is not a death sentence. Uh, isolation is important, so you do not spread and infect other people who live around you. My advice is that you can contact me on what to do. Some of the videos that are out there are naturally uh, defined or detail the things that people can do when they get infected. And we've had a whole lot of result, positive results of people that have been infected, and then they were managed, and then they got off the infection. Again, reinfection is real. People can be reinfected. And so you need to take care of yourself and then uh, properly, uh, you know, protect yourself as it were, uh, you know, with all of these that are going on. Again, I always love to say that please do not listen or pay too much attention to the two sides of the extremes. The extreme that say that um, uh, the two conspiracy, the theories, the one that COVID is not true, the one that says it is, it is true and then um, they are taken into the extreme please stay safe it is a person who is alive that will argue with them they say that um, the person that is hit by a car is not going to pick the number of the car all right he's not going to be the one to look for the number of the plates so please don't be part of the statistics of those that we i mean that will say that was died i mean that was killed or that died in the wake of this virus so please stay safe and protect yourself and your loved ones so having said that i want to go to the topic of today the weight loss economics um what I mean by this is that what are the ways you can actually economize and maximize uh, the profit of weight management and how the things that you can do that will make this to be profitable for you, that will save your time and save you money. Um, because some, one of the myths that people have resigned to, unfortunately, is that this is a very expensive exercise. Uh, oh, it's very expensive. Uh, to live healthy. That's, I even hear that one. That irritates me when I hear people say to eat healthy is very expensive. Well, ask people who are paying for cancer treatment. Ask people who are paying for some terrible ailments and they are battling with it. I sit every day and I listen to people's stories. There are times that after listening to some people's stories, I have to shut down the phone and then recalibrate myself to be normal. You know, because I hear symptoms and what people go through and I have to just, after, the, after the, the consultation, I will just shut down and stay for like 15 minutes to recalibrate my thinking and then just tell myself, you are normal, nothing is wrong with you. So why do you have to wait until then for you to count the cost? You count the cost of hospitalization, you count the cost of treatment. Apart from money, what about the, the, the cost of uh, your peace, the pain you go through? What about the pain you put your loved ones through while attending to your ailment? And God forbid if the person dies, what about the pain, the eternal, you know, pain that your loved ones go through? So I, I do advise people that uh, let us not be uh, penny wise, that was the saying, a couple of your pounds foolish, yeah, penny wise and pounds foolish, right? So let's do what we can. My advocacy is for everybody who cares to listen, that there is no government in the world who is sufficiently capable, and that is what COVID has shown to us, that no government in the world is sufficiently capable of taking care of your health. And so your health needs to be your responsibility primarily. So you need to help yourself before you look outside for help elsewhere. And so the more, the little you can do for yourself, please do. It's going to save you and save other people. Let's save ourselves the pain. Let us save the, us, the stress of having widows that, are, that can be prevented. So for starters, I'm going to say this, certain equipment are necessary for you to live healthy. So don't just look at this about weight loss alone. I look at it as something that is necessary for you to stay healthy. Even in the wake of this, in the middle of this crisis that is going on all over the world. You know, aside, I mean, aside the, the pandemic, the normal things that you should do to help your health are the things that we'll be talking about here and the economics of it. How you can save time and save energy and save money and then and live healthy. Number one is the fact that you need this equipment. 
you should have them, especially when you are beginning to cross and eat the age of 30 and 35. I was consulting for a first generation bank in Nigeria, the biggest almost in Africa. And then one of the conversations we had with the general medical director for the company was that many of the young people who come in do not even know their condition, their medical check or their condition. And that it is when they go for the medicals before their employment that certain things are reviewed. And one of the dangerous things that have been revealed over the years is that high blood pressure is no longer a disease of old age. That there are young people as young as 26, 23, 24, who when it is when they've left university, they've gone for their youth service and they're about to join, I mean, uh, start working in that uh, establishment, that they discover that they had high blood pressure. And these are young people who consume, a lot of them live a very rough life on alcohol and energy drink. A lot of them do so many concoctions that they mix together. So many of these concoctions, when they are mixed at that level, for people who are hypertensive, it can be fatal. All right? And when things happen, they will say it is the witch from their village or the, 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 their stepmother, their mother's rival, who, <laughs> who is doing something and killing them. And so we have so many myths that we need to bust, right? So these five things are advice. Once you are clocking the age of 30 and 35, especially, I mean, you need to start paying attention to some of the things I'll be saying today. And for starters, I will advise, number one, you need a bathroom skill. A bathroom skill is required, is important. Right now, I'm guilty of what I've just said. I transited, and so in my new place, I couldn't get that on, on time. And then I entered into winter. And then when you are in winter, you have to see your body. <laughs> because even in the bathroom, Really rushing up, taking your bath, and getting clothed instantly because you want to go out. But you know one funny thing is that if you have a bathroom skill, it might show you on time how much weight you are adding and how much weight you are shedding, right? And it is when summer comes, when winter drops out, and then we are approaching spring, that you do not begin to look at whether you can look at your hand and begin to see, oh, you're having this Christian mother's hand. When did this one get there? Because during winter, we didn't even pay attention to what we wear. Everything is on jackets, every coat, and everybody is moving. All that is in your, on your mind during winter is to fight the cold. You are not talking about fashion. I'm not, I don't know where you live. Some people still, they are still like fashionable, <laughs> even in that weather. If you live where I live, fashion is the second thing you want to think about. The first thing is function. Because you see, <laughs> you will see breeze that is tapping your ears, and you quickly want to. Yeah, you quickly want to uh, do what you should do to get out of the cold, right? So the first thing, bathroom skill. You need a good bathroom skill. Is it in that equipment? You also need, um, sorry, you also need uh, a sphygmo manometer. A sphygmo manometer. What we call a sphyg or a cough, which is used in taking high blood pressure or your blood pressure. Uh, readings. I advise people before the doctor pronounce you as to be hypertensive, it might be too late when those symptoms are beginning to show up, right? You know the kind of job you do, you know how you live on a daily basis. It's advisable that you get a feed, a personal one. And what I say is that the cost of that is usually not as expensive as some of the hand phones or our cell phones that we all carry about. Many of us are carrying some iPhone, latest iPhones that are as expensive as $2,000, $2,300, some Samsung are like that. These devices are about $10, $15, you know, $20, $30. You can order them on Amazon. You can walk into Costco. You can walk into any of the stores and you can pick them up. Get one. You need them for your to save your life. That is what I can say, right? So you can take all these readings and you don't have to wait until, until something happens and then they begin to say, oh, no, we could have saved that life if we knew that they had that thing, you know, before then. Number three, you need a good blender or a smoothie maker. Not It's not time for you now to dwell so much on juices. A whole lot of us are familiar with juices. With, with, we want to replace soda because of, our, of, our, of the way we have trained our taste buds to follow follow with uh, uh, um, um, soda, soft drinks, that's what we call soda, right? So we, we, we want to replace juices with soda, thinking it's a healthy thing to do, right? But once you cross a particular age, my advice, and if you're trying to lose weight and control your weight management is that you should do more of smoothies than of juices. Why? Smoothies contain fiber. 
the smoothie, we take in the fiber and everything. Juices had already taken out the fiber, and then all you are taking is just the liquid, the juice. And that is not enough to, to do the job that the fruit, to maximize the effect of the fruit uh, or the vegetables that you are doing. Again, I advise people that once, once you are crossing that age too and you are working towards weight management, you should consider doing more vegetables than you do more fruits doing more of vegetables than you do more of fruit. You may want to go online or check some of the videos we have done, understanding your body, understanding a meal plan that was released during the week. If you have subscribed to our YouTube channel, you will be getting all these updates once the video is struggling to look we did, understanding uh, your meal plan and how it affects your weight management plan. So we kind of gave a, 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 um, a, a kind of... Um, um, identification between a separation between fruits and vegetables there are some things we call fruits that are not fruits there are some things we call vegetables that are not vegetables so there's a proper there's a need to have a proper understanding of what are fruits and what are vegetables so your smoothie maker will help you to make smoothies you know uh, they won't make juices for you then when you're buying a smoothie maker try to buy check the wattage how many watts I see so many ones that we use in Nigeria that people sell in your show the market and then some of them are 150, some of them are 200 watts. When you use those ones, they give you a very terrible experience about having raw food. They are not good. So you should use the minimum. Try to get anything from 800 watts. You're going to get a superb output. Number one, the amount of time it takes to process the food is reduced. And so it's not struggling. The blade, the blade is not, <laughs> okay, the blade is not struggling. The blade is not struggling with uh, with the with the food, and in so doing, the nutrients are preserved. So you need to do more of uh, of vegetables and get a good smoothie maker, or you get a good blender. If they cannot get a smoothie maker, some people use their blender for the one they use for their smoothie to also do peppers. You, it's a good thing. It's not bad if you don't get nauseated by the smell. I do get irritated by you know if I smell a bit of pepper in my in my smoothie. It, I feel somehow, you know, so you will need to rinse properly your 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 your, your 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 blender, you know, before you begin to use it for your smoothie. Or if, if you are blessed and you can afford it, get a different one for your black for your smoothie and get a different one for for doing your peppers and some other things that, that you do. Right. And then um, number five, please get a yoga fitness mat. Get a yoga fitness mat, get a mat. A yoga or a fitness mat something you can actually use it's not good enough for you to do your fitness routine on the bare floor you, you don't you don't want to do that it's um sometimes it's, you could you could land in a way that could be injurious to your body right and there are some simple things exercises that you can do even without going to the gym i'm going to mention a few things that you can actually do if you cannot afford the gym there are things you can do at home like when you wake up in the morning um also if you check the video there is a video that was released last week sunday um as part of the fitness class that is ongoing the boot camp that is ongoing that video was released dr Daniel was there and he took the class through tai chi 13 forms you may need to go watch that video and see those 13 forms these are things that you can do on your own in the house uh one of the advantages of that tai chi 13 form fitness routine is the fact that uh, uh people use it uh to to help the elderly to gain the right and correct posture. One of the things that happens to people in old age is that they fall because they kind of go against gravity. And because of the way they stand, they begin to bend as they grow older. Now, this fitness routine will help them to keep their posture straight and upright so they won't be growing and be bending, right? And so, and this, this correction is best done before you enter into that age. And this is the best time for you to engage in something like Tai Chi. So if you ask me, these are things that you should, you know, spend your time doing right now, get involved and get engaged and do so many other ones. Not just Tai Chi, the other ones you can do. That's just an example. If you check that video of last Sunday, uh, it's something that um, you would want to want to consider. If the video is tied to the uh, Tai Chi 13, 13 form, something like that. I think that's the title of the video. But if you check our YouTube channel, it's there. It's one of the latest videos we had there. That was last week as well. And so um then the appropriate clothing the appropriate clothing that you need to do yeah dr Jai is saying that uh, it's from ages 2 to 102 so a gap of about 100 years you know for you to be involved in tai chi right so that's very good i i, I believe that is very good very very good 
So one of the other things I want you to also consider is to have the appropriate clothing for it. As some clothing that are not appropriate, you want to dress right for what you want to do, the fitness regime that you want to do. You can't, so there are some people that if you check their wardrobe, they don't have anything for fitness. All they have is a bad uh, and bear. They can spend all the money they have on and bear, but to buy the appropriate clothing for fitness, they don't, right? The prop appropriate shoes, appropriate clothing, not too tight fitness stuff. Depending on what you are going to do, you know, you need the appropriate clothing that will allow your skin to breathe even while you are undergoing, while you are going through that um, that routine, that exercise. So you want to do all of this. It's so important for you to, to get the appropriate clothing, all right? And so I leave that. So I want, that's about equipment. I, tag, I put on that equipment. So number two right now, I want to talk about how you can purchase healthy food. Because one of the myths is that people say it's very expensive to live this lifestyle. And um, we have done research. We've done so many things. And uh, what we have come to conclude is that it is cheaper to live healthy, to eat healthy, to buy healthy food, both in the short term and in the long term. I don't have time to begin to break it down today, but if you want us to do the breakdown, we can do the breakdown of consider how much you spend, you know, on feeding your family on how much you spend on your groceries in a month, right? The problem is that most of us do not even do the proper calculation. So when you sit down and calculate how much, the only danger there, which is again what I, I mean, the, the downside and which is what I advise people is, is that when you are going to embark on this lifestyle, Try to carry every member of your family along. One way or the other, begin to introduce it. It's going to be expensive if you are the only person who is involved. It means that you have two separate kind of meal preparation. Then you'll be doing two kind of two different set of grocery uh, shopping every time you're going out. But when you're a family of five, everybody is on the plan. Everybody is eating healthy. You will discover that you are saving more money. You are saving time, you are saving energy. And I will tell you that one of the few things that you can do. Number one, uh, identify local stores, local farmers, and healthy organic farmers that live around you. Some people are not aware where to get the things they need. So they ask questions about, okay, now, uh, where do I get all these things to talk about? This leaf is not, does not exist. There is nothing you are looking for that you cannot, you will not find. Uh, Yoruba, they have a saying, they say that, if you walk too far, you will see a square that has a hunch at the back. <laughs> so there is nothing you are looking for that you will not find. Uh, I saw camels, camels that has two humps, you know, one and then second one. And they are very, they are a very rare species, but they are there. So look for local stores, Google, go online. There are several stores. And thank you so much, Mr. Larry Ajayi. <laughs> Thank you so much. There are so many local stores around you where you live. If you live abroad, if you live in Nigeria, local farmers that are selling organic products and everything they do is for a healthy purpose. What we can do, and that's why we are doing all of this broadcast, is to increase awareness. We need to encourage this kind of farmers and encourage this kind of stores. In the place where I live, they have about four stores built around the city. And then all the farmers around the city project and target all their produce towards these stores. And so funny is the fact that when you enter these stores from start to finish, everything is organic, everything is healthy, from their vegetables to fruits to nuts to grains to pastas to pastries to rice, everything is organic. So the first key you need to do everywhere you find these stores, people don't know they exist. There are places you drive to, like that other one, like the one I discovered about a, a, a week ago around where I live. I've been going to that same place for almost how many months? And I've, I never knew that thing existed until I went online. I said, oh, really? So that's what they do in that place. And I began to go there. And I saw that they, oh, they had everything I needed. The same thing is applicable. If you look well enough around you, you will find local stores. You will find local farmers. You will find groups, elder living groups. There are people forming groups because people are becoming aware. If you don't know, you don't know. People know. So work more with people who know. And then when you work, work with them, they will tell you where they, where they get and source their food from. Because it's cheaper. So if you think you want to keep going to all the big stores all the time, the big stores, because of the way their supply chain is, they will always have 
uh, more price, they could be more expensive in some cases. And then in some cases, you will not even find those things that you need from there. So you want to go to stores where you can get those things there. And number two, I would advise that you can buy in groups or you buy in bulk and you save money. You buy in, book, in, in bulk, you buy in groups and you save money. So I used to know that that, that used to be a practice then. I don't know how people do it right now in Nigeria. Where people buy, they come together, they buy a whole cow and they share the cow, right? We frown, we tell people, we want people about cow or uh, cow products, dairy products. It depends. But if you if you know people who, who, who raise their cows on grass, grass fed, organic or uh, organic cows i mean cows that are raised organically that is to say that no chemicals were added to them no growth hormones were put into them they are fine there are such stuff you can look for them if you get them then you are fine you can get milk from these kind of cows and farmers and there are these farmers I've, I've, I've met quite a number of them like i go to visit them and they like they want to offer me their, their cow milk they are so excited like they do just tell you this is cow milk is organic it has no chemical it has nothing in it you want to have a taste taste it and seriously, it tastes so refreshing, you know, as compared to all the things that are packaged in bottles and in cans and people sell all over, right? But if you identify them, it's better. And so you can buy these things in bulk and you store them. Like you can buy a whole week or two weeks produce and store them. If you live in a place that uh, power supply is uh, regular, it is good for you. Um, that, that makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. You know, so you can store them. Your vegetables can be wrapped in paper. We started doing that this week, and then you put them in your refrigerator. They can stay for a longer period of time. They can be conserved, and then you can take them out and use them when you use them. I think that should be my number three point. Use technology to your advantage. So you start by refrigerating your stuff. Avoid buying avoid buying things that are, you know, that are, that are already. Okay, yeah. Um, Minister Solomon Lang. Okay, you found a farmer in Abuja that grows almost. Can you imagine? And if you find out, talk to that farmer. It will tell you his frustration, how is people don't appreciate what he's doing because people don't know. All right, people don't know that. Look, some of the, the mass things we buy, they are terrible. One of the things I say is that the wealthy people you are praying they should die, the people you think we that they should die, they eat good food. That's, that's, I mean, that's the reason, reason they are not dying, they are living well long enough, right? So if you live and eat healthy, you will also live long and well enough, right? So use technology to your advantage and then where you cannot because i've had people in nigeria tell me these vegetables some of them you, we can't find them i believe so it's possible but again what i also know is that you see god is all sufficient and is, is all knowledgeable is all wise right there is no culture where beneficial fruits food vegetables and herbs are not grown none I have not seen that culture. Even here, even here, where you where you, where you think everything, I mean, the white people, they are sophisticated. They, they pro, I mean, the way they promote and value uh, herbs and natural things, for those who know, when you still meet them, the way they value and cherish them, you'll be amazed, right? So it is what, thank God for Joss, if you live in Joss, thank God, seriously, because everybody has getting something, you have it. You just don't know where to get them. So go ahead, look for them and get them. All right. So if you do not have some of the things we mentioned, there are alternatives. If you just ask me and say, okay, you mentioned this particular uh, fruit, uh, vegetable, what are the alternatives? Again, there are, some, there are some that are available, you just don't know the names. So you want to know the local names that they are called. For example, arugula is what we call it here. Uh, in, in North America, if you go to UK, it is called the rocket leaf. And I tell people, if you go to Abuja, you might find rocket leaf in Abuja. Check the Chinese and Lebanese stores. You will find them there, the grocery stores there. If you go to Joss, like somebody say, some of these things are grown there, you see. So they grow. So you can have them there and then enjoy the benefits of these things. So, um, but where you cannot get these things, I advise you can go for nutritional shake. Now, this is, a, I will sound a few notes of caution here when you are trying to approach the use of nutritional shake because there are so many shakes out there uh, because of the you know the growth in the weight loss and the bodybuilding fitness industry is a multi-billion dollar industry right now many people are cashing on it there are so many protein shakes that are being produced that when you check them they are not advantageous what i always advise people is that please 
Somebody is asking for the contact in Abuja. Okay, um, Dr. M.M., just um, after the show, you can boss me. I can, you can connect with uh, um, <laughs> Mr. Solomon Lange. He's going to give you the contact for that store in, uh, for the farmer in Abuja. So where not possible, get these nutritional shakes, but these are the conditions. Number one, make sure the shakes are they are non they are non GMO. They are not from uh, genetically modified uh, uh, produce. Uh, make sure that they are organic. That's the second condition I want to give to you. It is very important for you to understand that those things are you know they are organic. They are also from uh, non GMO products. And then you want to make sure they contain a host a broad spectrum of protein. Some of them, if you find the very good ones, they could have as high as 41 protein source you know you see the greenish chlorophyll in them um you also find you also find some that are made from fermented grass you have the wheat grass you have the lemon grass some have fermented foods in there yeah they have a, a broad spectrum of minerals and vitamins some essential ones you have some with superfoods all superfoods you have spirulina you have corella you have alfalfa you have all this loaded in one nutritional shape you won't find this for those people who are doing weight loss and weight, uh, well, I mean, who are doing weight management, people who are doing bodybuilding. You won't find it in the kind of protein they use, right? This is what I'm saying. We want to encourage the LV one because this can be used as a meal supplement or meal replacement, sorry, meal replacement. That is, if you cannot find some of these foods or fruit in your locality, just go order for a bottle. Some of them as, I mean, as 1,000 grams that you can, that can last you for like three months, right? You know, one thing you gain by doing that is that you can get all the nutrients that you might not even that might even escape you when when you are using. Okay, thank you, my producer. To, I've been to that twenty minutes more, so you can get some of the nutrients that will escape your food when you eat them raw. You can get them from these nutritional sheets. But like I said, please pay attention to the guidance and the instruction. The one is what do you have to look out for. About people who just hear some of these things that we talk about and they just go and buy something and then. They say it's not working. It's not working because you didn't follow instruction. So please listen to instruction and get the right ones. If you are not, if you are in doubt, I, I always say this: ask. I would not my my the lines to prefer to contact. Check us if you leave a message for us on Instagram, we will respond. Just say, oh, I just bought this. Please confirm for me. Don't put it on the general post. Please, you can just do a DM, and we will respond to your DM and say, okay, yeah, this is good. This is not good. Get another one. We will look at it, and then I I I have a way of checking brands. And know which brands you should buy and which brands are just there to make money in the market. And we have a whole lot of them. So you have to be very careful. Again, the downside, the only downside to nutritional shit is that phytochemicals are omitted. Phytochemicals have their role, the role they play in nutrition. But because phytochemicals are thermal sensitive, and sometimes because of the pro pro process engaged in making these uh, nutritional shapes, uh, phytochemicals are damaged and destroyed or denatured. So they, they are not present in some of these shapes. Uh, so that is why there should be an intervention and not just a regular thing you do all of the time. So we are not saying now replace your entire meal of fresh food, fresh produce with meal replacement. That is not what we are saying. They are just interventions like some once in a while, you are in a hurry, you have an appointment, you can't make your smoothie, you can't make your raw vegetable salad, then you just use the milkshake and then consume them. You have all the nutrients you need. Uh, it's just a scoop in a glass of cup and you drink and you are good. It gives you all the nutrients and the strength that you need. Number three, uh, uh, weight loss economy uh, three, uh, three, uh, tip I'm going to give is, uh, is the fact that it saves time. And how is it going to save your time, right? How does it help to save your time? Number one, for you to for you to save your time, you need to have an effective plan. What we have observed is this. There is a circle or like a twin reaction between people who have a cluttered lifestyle and people who have issues with weight management. One is that if your environment where you live is cluttered, you are going to have issues with your diet and you start having issues with your weight. If you have weight issues, your thinking, your thought pattern will be cluttered. People will go through weight management program. One of the, one, one of the, one of the, uh, one of the uh, things they talk about, uh, the advantages that they see is that their, their thinking, their clarity is, uh, their thinking is clearer. They have clarity when it comes to thinking, right? So you, you, you will save yourself a whole lot of efforts and time to plan. You cannot be successful on this program without effective planning. You must have a plan. Sit down, plan your meal, 
plan your expenses, plan the things you are going to be doing. You cannot be half facet and expect results. It's the danger, is the thing we, we grew up with in this part of the world where people hardly plan. I see when there is when people hardly where when people hardly plan, it becomes difficult for success to come. In Brazil, Brazil, they call it a developing country. I don't know what they mean. Yeah, because if you go to Brazil, Brazil, Marco Polo, Marco Polo, uh, um, uh, luxurious boss, is made from Brazil. Brazil oil and gas industry is one of the leading in the world. Um, roads in Brazil, if you've ever been there before, I don't know why they call Brazil a developing country. But the point I want to make by referring to Brazil is that the point I want to make by referring to Brazil is that Brazil has a motto, and the motto of the country is order and progress. There can be no progress if there is no order. It is just a known fact. So if you want to achieve order and achieve progress in your weight management program, it's important for you to maintain order. Part of maintaining order is to have an effective plan. Draw your meal plan. What are you going to eat? What are you going to feed on? How much are you going to spend? And that will help you a lot. That saves a whole lot of time. When you save time, you save money. Some people love to waste time, spend time instead of money. I don't know where they get that, that kind of mindset from. But you can both, you save time and you save money. It's so important for you to understand why this is, I mean, this is important. So if your life is cluttered, your environment is cluttered, you are a facade in your plan, you have no plan. Many of us don't. We just wake up, we go to the refrigerator, what do you want to eat? Is anything anywhere below face? That is what we do. If that is what you do, you will not be successful in eating healthy and in living healthy, not even in the world that we live in today. You want to live healthy, then it's important for you to have a plan, have a meal plan, have a diet plan, have a, have a plan for your budget. Plan how much you're going to spend, and by the end of the month, you will see how much money you are saving your family. When people talk about eating healthy is expensive. One example was uh, 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 Mitchell Obama, the wife of the uh, first American president. When she became the, the president, the first lady, the former first lady, when she became the first lady, one of the things she did was that they stopped eating anything in the White House that was not organic. Everything that they were eating was organic, non-GMO. And one of the things they also did was to have like um, a, a green farm, a greenhouse farm right in the White House where some of the vegetables were grown. In a year, they were able to save the American taxpayer money of $1 million every year. Why? They cut out all the unnecessary things, you know. you know. So when you have a plan, you will save time and you will save money. And like, like it's there right now, clutter thoughts. They could sign that you are adding weight. When you begin to, you know, things are not in place, your kitchen is cluttered. Some people's kitchen, do you, you still have fellow women, fellow women. <laughs> Let me use that word right now to draw your attention. Fellow women, there's no English like that. But please, women, please, all those plates, souvenirs you get from people's wedding, even if you had the wedding, they don't have any copy of the souvenir left. You still have it in your kitchen. It's time to decluster. Declutter the place. Throw them away. Let your kitchen breathe. Take away things you don't even need. If you have a storage, you can go and store them somewhere. And have your kitchen, because it is the beginning of unhealthy eating. The whole place is just like cluttered. No space, plate here, things you don't even need, things that, please, take them out, right? Clear your kitchen, let it breathe. It, it, will, it will help your clarity. And then you can make wise decisions on what plan and what food and things that should be there. It also goes to your wardrobe. Any clothes you have not worn in one year, two years, well, they shouldn't be there. Go and give them to thrift or, don't, I mean, give them to charity. <laughs> Let them use them. And so people, people just keep things they don't need. In my place, they say that when you cannot overlook or give out, give away certain things, it makes you to begin to pile up things like a mad person. You see a mad person, the, 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 the wrap of biscuit, the mad person head. Some some three four days ago, it's still part it's still part of his luggage. <laughs> they can't throw it away. That should not be you. Declutter your space. It helps you. It saves you time. It saves you money. Planning saves you time. Planning saves you money. Number three, portion your meals according to your meal plan and store away in appropriate in the appropriate container in your refrigerator. For example, when you go to do your grocery and then you're going to do you already have a meal plan. And you know, on Monday, I'm going to do smoothie. I'm going to do shiitake, mushroom, 
uh, shiitake pepper soup or shiitake pasta. You already package this. You, you, so that you won't be open. You know, you have to thaw at some time. You know, so you can save time and save money when you already have a plan. So you just you just label all the, the stuff in your sleep log. is for Monday, for Tuesday, for Wednesday, for Thursday, according to your meal plan. So everything is labeled and it's put out there. So on Monday, you know the sip log you want to bring out. On Tuesday, you know the one you're going to bring out. It saves you time looking. Do you know why women take a long time to, not just women, even men, why it takes us a long time to dress up? <laughs> I learned this from Matt Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs. Matt Zuckerberg wears only one color of shirt. He, he doesn't have too many. It's just one. Why? It helps him be saving time of thinking, which one do I match with that one? Which one do I match with this one? Just wear one black shirt. Steve Jobs wore only one black shirt. And then any jeans will go. And then that's how it's going. It's, it's moving. Nobody cares. Black goes with every color. Neutral color. You, your own could be blue. Your own could be anything. It helps a lot. It saves you time. But you know women? Especially our Owambe Nigerian women. Hmm. They get the most too much. The way they even call the colors. I know one day color will finish where they call them from. Mint green. Uh, uh, print mint yellow yellow green all kind of names that they give to colors and they call and people are looking for the colors to match what they're going to wear some women spend hours to plan what they wear before they leave i'm not saying it's, it's, not, it's not bad to look good you know but just simplify your life simplify your life especially look at what coronavirus has told all of us there is nothing we brought into this world and there is nothing we take out of it i'm serious just simplify your life the simpler the better I mean, life goes on. The people who are dead are dead. And the rest of us are, are still here. You know, so simplify your life. Make it simple. Make your wardrobe simple. Make your house simple. Make your kitchen simple. Instead of making it complicated, make it functional. What you need is the functionality. How does it serve you? The things that you need. So you, you, it makes you spend less time in the kitchen in preparing meals. So you can spend less time in preparing your meals. I'm not sure Mr. Sylvia is catching up with me. Or am I too fast? Right, because I'm, I'm I'm almost leaving this point to another point right now. So um, plan your meals. I mean, so when you plan them, you you spend less time in the kitchen, right? Like ten minutes you are out of the kitchen, twenty minutes you are out of the kitchen. Sometimes we spend too much time in our kitchen because of our cooking methods. Imagine what it takes to make your goosey. I'm not saying that cooked food are not good. We spend spend time to prepare them, but when they are planned, we can actually do them better, right? Okay, awesome. One day, I hope you will go back to this, your look on this. <laughs> yeah, you go back to this look. Okay, now, so the last one I will talk about is the group, I mean, this, I call them the fitness tricks. And you need to let, listen to this one, fitness tricks, things that you can do. Um, if you cannot go to spend hours at the gym, if you don't have the time to spend at the gym, right? Um, one second. Thank you. Um, so this, this tricks would work wonders for you. One, don't delegate, don't delegate your very hard and physical task. Don't delegate your very hard and physical task. E.g., changing your car tire, working on your lawn, your major house cleaning. A whole lot of us will contract all of these exercises, these duties, this task. You know what used people faster in Africa is that once you begin to get to the age of 40, they begin to call you papa. And when you are 45, you become a grandpa. By the time you are 50, nobody reckons with you anymore. Even for you to stand up and help yourself with a glass of water, somebody is there to help you with a glass of water. It's very common among... Well, let, me not, let me talk about that. I'm, not, I'm going to have a a session for pastors and people who are in ministry because a lot of the things they do do not help their health. And you see all of them dying young and having so many conditions. That's why the faith that they profess is because of the lifestyle, right? Nothing is wrong with you doing the dishes. Doing the dishes alone will help you to burn like 150 to 200 calories. Just doing the dishes, not you using the dishwasher. <laughs> get down, get the soap, you are standing up and you are scrubbing. Look at just the Tai Chi movement. Look at that. You see the shoulder moving, right? That's what you are doing. To the right. 
to the left, right? You're burning calories. That happens, right? But for most of us, we delegate those tasks to people. Samples of meal replacement, somebody's asking. You can send us a message um, after the show. Send it to WhatsApp. Uh, no, so send it to Instagram. Then we can give you samples, right? We, we will not want to promote any brand, but like I've given you examples of what to look out for. Seriously, there are many of them there. So don't delegate those hard things, those, those things, like changing your car tires. Change your car tire can make you to lose, burn like 400 calories. If you've ever tried it before, washing your car yourself in the morning, washing your car in the morning alone is about 300 calories. Cleaning your house. If you do every cleaning, doing your house, cleaning it out, back and forth, you, you lose about, you burn about 600 calories. <laughs> yeah, Tai Chi. Yeah, I can go. Yeah, you, you, there, there's a lot that you can do. Don't delegate this task to people. You are, you have become, you have become big man now. Somebody is carrying your toothpick, and now one is carrying somebody's carrying your toothpick. Oh, Facebook is not the IG. I don't know why that is happening. Probably that's uh, that is uh, the network, right? Somebody is carrying your toothpick, and now one is carrying your bag, and now one is carrying your. So you don't need that, that kind of a lifestyle. Make your life simple. Let them not send you to any grave. Do your things yourself. My dad is about um, seventy. What am I saying? My dad is going to be, yeah, he's about 78 right now. And then he still, he, he does his dishes himself. When he's done eating, he will move his plate from the dining table. He's taking it straight into the kitchen and he's going to do the dishes himself. These are the things that can keep people alive. But, you know, you people die easily when everything that can keep them healthy is being done for them by people. You have a driver, somebody drives you to work. You are not doing anything from work. Somebody's carrying your phone. You just sit down in that chair and you'll be rolling right and left, back and forth. There was a man that rode that way in the Bible. That was how he died. <laughs> it was on that same rolling chair. Rock and roll, back and forth. That was where he ended his life. Don't live such a sedentary life. Engage your muscles. Our muscles, they only develop and they grow and they keep in shape by you. So you need to use them. Number two, use the stairs instead of elevators and escalators. Many of us are fond or we are quickly, we are quick to run to the elevators and run through the uh, escalators. But you can do better. You can help yourself by using the stairs. Climb the stairs. Do it briskly. Wow, 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 wow. Run on the stairs like a young person. Start doing that. You may start gradually, but with time, you are going to be able to do it more. Some people are giving me a challenge to come and climb one mountain and i think i'm taking that challenge tomorrow and we are going to climb one mountain look <laughs> to where we live <laughs> they don't even know many stairs and i told them that i know a mountain in nigeria where you when you get to the top of the mountain you begin to touch the clouds you're right you're in the middle of the clouds the clouds are just passing around your body and your way is a prayer mountain anyway and then the first level of the mountain you will climb like about 600 and something stairs to get there and then if you're a newcomer, like you're not used to the place, you will, you, you, will be, you will stop at various points. But while you are stopping at those points, you see some small boys. They're running. In fact, they will help you with your bag. And with your bag and luggage, they are still going, wow, 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 wow. Why? Those guys are used to it. They're going to live longer. It's just normal. You see why people in East Africa, they win the long-distance races? It's because of the environment where they live. They work more. They do more of working. So they become, you know, active. They become active. So use the stair, stair, stairs instead of elevators. Then the next one, when you receive phone calls, especially for those of us who are senior management officers, executives, who work in big offices, and our lifestyle is like you are in meetings all day. One From one meeting to another, from one meeting to another, I've done that kind of thing before. It is. It, it can be very terrible. Before you know it, your life is just helping out and you don't even know why. I advise, do your phone calls, walking around your office instead of sitting down. So you're, because you're, you're going to get many phone calls while working. So instead of sitting down, take advantage, step back with, on your chair, get up, and then pick your phone while walking around the office. You can, uh, you can also do some stretches. You can stretch your hand, stretch your legs, stretch properly. You can do that as many times as possible as you receive phone calls during office hours. That will, that will kind of uh, shorten or reduce you having kind of a, a, a sedentary lifestyle. And the last one, which is very important and is not common as well, people don't know why, is what we call 
earthing, earthing or grounding. Now, our bodies, I, I, I've said that before on some of the shows, that where, where earth care is going is not just a lot of biology and chemistry. It's also a lot of physics. Because we're talking about electrical discharges, voltages that is measured in the cells of the body. Uh, when you want to know a cancer cell, a cancer cell is a cell that is not discharged. A, can a cancer cell, a cancer cell, will not discharge enough voltage or is discharging too, uh, too, too, too many voltages. Is I mean, I mean, uh, 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 from from the from the from the cell. Yeah, biophysics, <laughs> right? So that is one way to know a cell that is cancerous, and it's one of the things that are used, right? So because our bodies are also giving up voltages, electrical impulses are coming out from the body, right? And so just like when you have in your house, you see that three sockets. You have the health, you have the neutral, you have the, what's, what's, what's the third one right now, right? Uh, those three things, positive, neutral, and then the health, right? You have them there. They, are, they have a role that they are playing. When the, when the electrical fitting in your house is not well grounded, there will be electrical discharges which can lead to electric shock. So when you touch some appliances, you can get, you can feel the shock on them. Why? Grounding is not sufficient for those devices or the house on its own is not well grounded. There is a man called Oba. Oba used to be, he used to work in, uh, in the uh, telecoms industry. And he discovered that whenever the, a house is well grounded and the telecom equipment there is well grounded, the, the, the clarity of the pictures of the TV, beautiful. Uh, communicate telecommunication is beautiful. So you now began to think that could there be something that grounding also has to do with our human health? And that was the beginning of that studies. And today it's, a, it's an established fact. How do you ground your body? You cannot be wearing shoes 24 hours. Some of us from shoes to socks will hardly walk barefooted. You need to walk barefooted. And when I say barefooted, it's not just on your on your um, um, hardwood floor that you have in your house now. That's not what I mean by walking barefooted. I mean Walk on sand, walk on ground, sand as in sand. Let there be an exchange between the heart and your feet because that goes into your body. And if you are fortunate enough to live where there is a beach around you, go to the beach, lie down, walk on the beach, or lie down, expose your entire skin, lie down, bare bodied if you can, on the beach part. Your body is getting enough charges, electrical charges. It's called grounding. The body is getting well grounded. It works effectively for weight management. It also works in reversing several disease conditions, cancers. A whole lot is being reversed when your body is grounded. It can also prevent and put your body in homeostasis, a state where it's going to be difficult for disease condition to be initiated in any part of your body, right? So that is all I have to say today. I'm going to leave it there. If there are questions, I want to take them. You can please put up the question, okay? Now, the second back of the boot camp is going to start in july the whole lot of people have been asking us they wanted to join the current one after we are started and we said no we don't want people to join midway right i had people that were already on personalized plan program with me who migrated into the uh boot camp which is very important right so aside that we never brought in new people into the boot camp so the new boot camp is going to come in july first of july right registration for it will start immediately so if you know anybody or anyone who will want to apply and join that is a number to call they can call the number on this not call sorry send the whatsapp and just say we want i want to join the boot camp now the target of this boot camp this particular boot camp i call it hormone reset hormone reset what we are going to be targeting are people with fibroid issues, ovarian cysts, people who have issues of infertility, uh, people who have unusual or abnormal growth uh, within their system. They will be the target of this boot camp. So if you know anybody who is having such conditions, this is a boot camp for them to attend. I'm not saying weight loss is not going to be addressed. We are going to address weight loss there. But I'm only saying that with special emphasis on hormone reset. What do I mean by hormone reset? Some of most of these issues or conditions are hormone related, and then we're going to be able to resolve them just by uh doing the things that we'll be talking about in that boot camp. It's going to last for three months, and then just boss send a WhatsApp message to the number that is appearing, and then you'll be you they will, they will attend to you. Let me also warn that 
If you think you are not ready to complete or go through the process, don't start it. I, I advise people. It's demanding. It's going to demand. Uh, it's going to place a demand on your time. But if you follow the the guides, the the rules I just mentioned today, I, I believe that you are going to have it very easy. It's going to be an easy one. So even before that day, these are things that you can actually do to help yourself. All right. Um, okay, um, Mr. Sylvia is saying she experienced. Okay, yeah, that's the helping, the grounding. Yeah, that's what you experience. I want to see whether we have any question uh, that I omitted in the course of the broadcast. There are no questions. So uh, thank you everybody for joining us today. Uh, I do think that we can have the broadcast from for, for I mean from here. We really appreciate your time. Uh, if you have any questions that we did not attend to, you can please send a message to the uh, a DM message. You can send us a message on WhatsApp. Um, you can send a message to us on Facebook. On Facebook, sorry. And then the message, the number that is showing on your screen uh, about the boot camp. Also, you can send a message to that WhatsApp only. That number will not receive a phone call. You can send a message there, and then we will attend to uh, whatever problem, whatever uh, question that you have. So, first of July, another boot camp is starting. And it's targeted towards a moon reset. Thank you very much, everybody. Do have an, uh, a nice weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe and stay healthy.